Mississippi High School Baseball Championships are in full swing. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Fans traveled far and wide to support their area teams, including our very own Amory Panthers. WTVA Sammy Roebuck is live right outside of Jackson with the very latest. Sammy, tell us how the reigning champs competed today. This game is not your typical state championship duel. The Amory Panthers have fought back on and off the field through trials and tribulations, not the usual ups and downs that sports typically bring for a bid for their next back-to-back -back state title in baseball. It's day one for the championship series, and the Panthers faced off the St. Stan Stanislaus Rock Achaz. Panthers were first on the board. Amory sophomore Jackson Howell knocks a base hit, sending Walker Moranto home. one nothing Panthers. Now Bryce Glenn with another single RBI. Howell scores. Panthers in the first, up two to nothing. But that's not the end of the story. After a three and one lead, Amory let up three consecutive bases loaded walks. The Rocks two to the lead and kept running. Brady Wallace hit the final run. Amory falls seven to three in game game one. Head coach Chris Pace says they aren't done yet. Four hits, 11 walks. Yeah, I'm not going to win many baseball games doing that. That's not us. Uh, worst inning that we've had all year. They, they came today. They'll be back Thursday and they'll be back Saturday. You know, uh, special. Uh, you know, I think maybe that uh, we sort of got through the playoffs there and we got that 3-1, three, one, three Three and one lead, maybe hit Cruz a little bit, just sort of didn't uh, didn't keep the gas down. But it is what it is. Now I have to regroup, come back, try to get two more. Amory was hit by a tornado in March and are still rebuilding. But the tornado didn't take away their community, and that's what shows today. The Panthers even have an entire student section for Game One. Many area teams opened up their facilities to help the Panthers practice after their field was destroyed this season. Seventh grader Cole Childers says it means a lot to come out and support the team. He says they have accomplished and overcame so much this season. Well, it's really great because you know, we just come back from a tragedy to be this great to come out, be able to come out here again. I'm really excited about this student section just to see what we can bring because last year we really brought a great student section so hopefully we can bring that again. It's awesome. I mean these, these boys right here have been through a lot. They went through way more than I did and it'd just be awesome to go back to back. Yes, I mean all these boys are my best friends and I, I love, I've been playing with them my whole life and I love every one of them. I hope, I hope they win.